This is our 5760 Lab 1. I'm Liam. I'm Brian. And um, so as you can see here, we built a uh, DDA system that models the Lorenz system. So you'll see on the screen in a second um, that we're going to model the X, Y, and Z uh, equations from the Lorenz attractor, which is a subset of the solution for the Lorenz system uh, or chaotic solution for it. Um, and so as you can see here, we're using the HPS, so the ARM core on the FPGA board uh, to display each of the solutions and its time series, of course, uh, X1, X2, X3, or XYZ top down. Uh, and as we can see, we have this moving sort of oscilloscope style display um, that just refreshes what the latest value is. Um, as I said before, that, that's being driven by the HPS on the FPGA development uh, board. And then the FPGA itself is actually doing the heavy calculation for getting the values for what to display uh, after being fed by the HPS. Yep. So the HPS is used mainly for taking input and then it's just controlling the FPGA. So it actually cycles the clock of the DDA module on the FPGA so we can control when the FPGA is calculating. Um, but we can do all the number crunching on the FPGA because it's significantly faster and then we just output um and so yeah the the hps just grabs the value from the fpga and then it feeds a plotting value back into um into the fpga system a different subsystem on the fpga that actually outputs to the vga display that we were seeing um so if we see the terminal again then you can see that if i type in e which is for end then we pause the display um, and then we type begin again, then we pick up where we left off. So you can pause and then restart the display. And then if we end and reset, then we'll see that we clear the screen. And from there, we could begin again. We'll start plotting with the default values. Or if we go back and we reset, then you can see all the other options that we have. So if once we're reset, we can change any of these values uh, to anything that we want. So for example, if we do T and we change DT, um, if we change it to two to the negative sixth instead of two to the negative seventh, uh, which is the default value, then we'll see that you fit a lot more of the period um, of the Lorenz attractor onto the screen. So it's a lot more compressed. Um, <clears throat> and then you see that we can also go back we could reset then we'll go back to all the default values including for dt so this will go back to seven um, we could change another value let's say we want to do sigma so that normally starts at 10. If we change it to one then we can begin we can see that the system is you know a lot more mellow now so we have full control over the parameters um, for the lorenz attractor we can begin and stop, and then we can also reset the system through the HPS. 